Welcome to Black Sax. Today's discussion, Lavona. I gotta say, it buttered my biscuit a little bit more than my year of rest and relaxation. Lavona is outwardly about a fictional town and its fictional people during a period of time where lords and kingdoms and all that jazz were in full effect and the church's grip on humanity was tight. The religious bag was fat. The religious bag was jumping. Moshbeg ultimately uses the unwavering belief in God and like the common folk of this time period to examine personal morality and how that affects the characters and their relationships. The examination of morality, characters, and relationships is also very present in my year of rest and relaxation. But in this book, Moshfeg leans more into the religious part and in a very brilliant way displays his seven deadly sins. And it, it is kind of, you gotta hate it up, you gotta hate it up, you gotta do that shit up really far. But inwardly, the themes are a little bit darker in the sense of the book is about men, or at least that's how I perceived it. The way that men move about the world and how women do or do not fit into the path that men have constructed for themselves. In Lavona, we are met with a strong cast of women who almost never take lead in narration and perspective. And when they do, it is for very short periods of time and they are often unhappy when it happens. <laughs> Despite the fact that the book is primarily told from the perspective and narrative standpoint from the men, the story is only driven by the narratives of the women who either act as mothers, partners, figures of business, if you will. And one of my favorite characters is something of a witch. But once again, speech is primarily given to these male characters who view themselves somewhat as martyrs or some variation of like a medieval cat caller with like World War II level toxic masculinity. Yeah. But what the book ultimately displays is how time and time again, women and their dreams and aspirations are tossed completely into the abyss due to the lack of emotional intelligence of men or the fact that we live in a society where men are welcome to and encouraged to avoid any aspect of responsibility for their actions thoughts emotions feelings physical embodiments whatever floats their boat for the sake of men and how in every sense of that case the emotional intelligence that comes with these decisions or the lack thereof are ultimately placed on the shoulders of women to deal with and that often if they fail to deal with it or they fail to deal with it in a way that is pleasing to the man they are punished but mosh does a brilliant thing where she's able to have this conversation and still have a story where there is balance and you get both rather than a story used as a plot device to say these things I find that it's a very hard balance to find in narratives like this. That being said, the trigger warnings are worth looking over. They are very present. They are not gently mentioned. They are huge plot devices and they exist for long periods of time in great detail. Please do not pass go and do not collect 200 until you've decided that poop and cannibalism is a wave that you can ride. Other than that, I can't say that the vibes are immaculate, but they do razzle dazzle. And that is it for me. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, keep with the books, stacks.